Welcome to State Television Company of Western Armenia. Today's broadcast. The speech of the Speaker of the Government of Western Armenia. Human Rights Defender promises to be consistent in ensuring the proper protection for all the rights of the residents of the disaster zone. Baku destroys the Armenian heritage in Artsakh. Yevrai Senet. Ballot Fest will be held in Yerevan on June 2 up to 5. Support the television of Western Armenia. On June 1, the speech of the government of Western Armenia, Armen Misagyan, took place. In her speech, she referred to the speech of the president of Western Armenia, Ms. Lydia Markosyan, during which Ms. President emphasized the knowledge of the Armenian language and addressing the audience urged them to learn Armenian in order to conduct the session only in Armenian, if necessary, to translate into other languages. The speaker mentioned in her speech about the session held on May 27. The chairman of the National Council of Western Armenia, Mr. Armen Agabrahamian, gave the opening speech of the session, who emphasized the importance of the second plenary session of the third convocation of the National Assembly and drew attention to the issue of having a position on a number of issues to be discussed. The Speaker of Session, Nelly Haratsunyan, the Chairwoman of National Assembly, presented the issues related to completing the June 2 agenda. The Office of the Human Rights Defender of Eastern Armenia has been working in an emergency mode since in the first moment of the emergency situation caused by floods in Lori and Tavush regions. According to Armen Press, Armenian human rights defender Anahit Manasan announced this during the press conference held in Alaverdi. Today I came to Lori region to understand the problem raised by the citizens and to carry out work toward their solution. I especially want to emphasize that from the beginning we have identified several areas of human rights and regularly communicated with state bodies in order to address the issues related to the content of those rights, said Anahit Manasan. She also mentioned that the first and urgent problem that requires a solution is the problem of safe water and sanitation. It is also important to exclude problems related to people's health care epidemic situations, stressing that in this regard, the provision of safe water to the citizens is primarily important. Anahit Manasyan also emphasizes the importance of ensuring citizens' rights to education in the emergency situation, as well as the importance of providing people with food, adding the in this regard, she also received an assurance that citizens are provided with the necessary food. The issue of citizen property right and proper compensation is a very important issue. Yevres and Ned write that in the article titled Baku destroys Armenian heritage in Artsakh with a bulldozer. Since the fall of last year, when the takeover of Artsakh was completed, Baku has taken rapid steps to restore key parts of the region, clearly seeking to remove any vestige of Armenian influence. Transformation goes beyond just changing the names of settlements. The capital of Artsakh, for example, was called Stepanakert in Soviet times, but now it had been renamed Khan Kendi. New satellite images show the widespread destruction of Armenian homes, Armenian churches, and other significant cultural sites. One of the most drastic changes in Stepanakert is the destruction of an entire neighborhood and a station here. The demolished area is located near the former Artsakh State University, which has now been renamed University of Artsakh. Another major example of destruction is the Armenian village called Karintak near the city of Shushi, which was apparently completely bulldozed. Satellite images show that personal belongings inside some of the private homes marked for demolition have been thrown out like trash. Armenian churches, cemeteries, and Orthodox Christian religious symbols are under the devastating attack of Baku authorities. Documented cases of demolition of Armenian places of worship were recorded in Shushi and Berzor. In the same way, the status and monuments related to the Armenian heritage were destroyed. In any case, the demolition efforts of Azerbaijan contradict the International Criminal Court ruling in November, which required Baku citing Baku's obligation under the International Convention on Elimination of All Forms of Racial Discrimination to take all necessary measures to prevent and punish acts of vandalism and desecration affecting Armenian cultural heritage, says the article. For this, the capital city will be colored with a dance, mosaic, and classical theater art. The project is implemented by the initiative of Yerevan Municipality. Boris Ifman's St. Petersburg Academic Ballet Theater, Tbilisi Opera and Ballet Theater, named after Peleashvili, and Yerevan Alexander Spendian National Academic Theaters of Opera and Ballet. In terms of uh, volume, it exceeds this year festival by one to one and a half time. We will continue to make high quality art available to our population. Real ballet fireworks are expected, said Gosh Sarkisyan, head of the culture and tourism department of Yerevan municipality.
The implementation of the project was made possible this year also within the framework of the national ballot held in England due to the income generation from the sale of tour tickets. This festival is an important element in the life of our city and it is very important that all this is available to our fellow citizens completely free of charge, says Maestro Karen Durgarian. Yerevan ballot days, starting after 2023, are one of the most anticipated cultural events. The place of the meeting remains the same. In the park, named after Tumanian, performance begin at 8 o'clock p.m. An interesting surprise awaits the audience this year to enjoy the evening more comfortably. National television company Western Armenia, being faithful to its principles and viewers, continues its uninterrupted work with new approaches. As you already know, our television does not engage in self-promotion. It mainly broadcasts political and other content related to the history, present and future of Western Armenia, as well as topics that raise various issues. We also represent the political transition of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, the government, the National Assembly and other structures in a transparent and accessible manner. We are strong together. This was all for today. Goodbye.